What's up guys, Alpha here. Welcome to Vim tutorial number four. It has been a while since I made the last episode of Vim tutorial and I received a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people say it has been really helpful for them to learn this uh, very useful tool. Uh, so that kind of motivates me to make another video on uh, setting up Vim. So you may ask this question, uh, Nine years has been passed by it. Does Vim still matter after all these years? So my answer is definitely yes. I still use it daily as a software engineer. And today I'm going to show how I set up Vim for programming. Uh, so let's go back to my terminal. Uh, so here I have a, a source file, like a Python source file. If I open up this source file, by default, it looks like this. So compared to all these other modern like editors, like a Sublime or an IDE, this doesn't look good. It's like, first of all, there's no color scheme and there's no syntax highlight and everything is just so green here. So it's really not that convenient for a programmer to start coding like facing this like monochronic uh, color. So Vim as an editor is definitely created for editor. Uh, so what you can do is actually uh, using some command to make things look a little bit better. So the first thing I want to share is uh, set up the, the syntax highlight for this program. So you can type in like column here. So just watch this part. That's what I just typed in column. And then you can do like a syntax, uh, syntax on. And then now the programming language uh, keywords will be highlighted. So this, and also the common will be in a different color. So this looks much better than before, right? And uh, another uh, useful thing to do is to put up the uh, display the line number so we often time uh, we need to say this line has some bug there but what is this line number then it doesn't make sense there for us to go back to the beginning and count say one two three something so what we can do is uh, again uh, type in column and the command is uh, set number now you will see that the line number just displayed on the left side and you can easily see uh, this line is line, line number seven. And uh, uh, there's another thing uh, that we can do is change the color scheme of the file. So uh, I personally think this file looks okay to me, but uh, just for personal preference you can uh, changing a different color scheme. So what you, what you need to do is just type in color scheme and then there are several uh, building color scheme that you can choose. Let's say I remember one of them is called blue and enter. Now uh, the screen is becoming like blue-ish. And uh, if you want to see what are the available options, you can just type in uh, color scheme and then just press enter without typing any name. Uh, oh, this doesn't work. Uh, actually, it's like you type in color scheme, you press uh, space, and then you press the tab on the keyboard. Then you can uh, go through, like, you, you would like uh, list out the available options. So just like that. Uh, so it's called Dazzle. Let's see what it looks like. Huh? Not bad. So I personally like a, a theme called Toad. So yeah, so by then uh, everything looks good. It's much, much better environment for coding. So now we can, uh, after like editing the file, we can quit the program. Now we open up the file again. And uh, it seems like Vim doesn't remember our preferences 
it just goes back to the default setting and everything just becomes like a, uh, the single colored here again. Uh, so next, I'm going to teach you how to let me uh, remember our setting so that we don't need to do this every single time. The secret of letting me remember our preferences is to create a config file. So this config file is called .vimrc and I will try to show you how to create such one for uh, your project. So uh, this file would be in our home field, uh, home directory. So uh, this tilde sign on Linux uh, just means our home directory. And then the file name would be vimrc. So rc stands for run commands. It's just a very standard uh, Unix tradition that uh, a lot of programs you will see, you will have such a doc and the program name and RC. So that means that it's just a config file for that particular program. But anyway, for Vim, uh, we're going to open up this file. And then uh, we will type in the command that we just run inside Vim to see what happens. So first of all, let me uh, select a color scheme. So this is my favorite. Uh, you can choose your uh, the one that you like. And I will have a set number and also a syntax on. Uh, those are the important, important uh, commands that I want. And then I just uh, WQ. To save the file and quit. Now I open my uh, source file again. So uh, this is just saying I have another uh, window that opening up the file. So it doesn't matter. We can just press E to edit anyway. Now we're inside here. Uh, we can see that uh, right now is no longer a monochromic uh, theme as before. Uh, this time it has a line number. Uh, it has like syntax highlight for all the Python keywords. And uh, so now we can quit and even open the file again. It will remember our settings uh, with no problem. So cool. Uh, now uh, I'm going to add another a few things that will be helpful. So first of all, let me uh, make this window full screen. And then uh, I'm going to split the window side by side. So what I will do in Vim, you can do that by pressing Ctrl W and then V. That stands for a vertical split. I think this color is a little bit too, uh, it's too dark. Let me change another one. Okay, that's better. Now we can see the comments a little bit, a little bit better than the previous color scheme. So on the right side of my window, so I can, uh, I can move my cursor to the right side by pressing Control W W, and then now I'm on the right side. Now I want to open up my uh, Vim .rc dot vmrc file so i type in column e tilde dot vmrc now i open up my like a uh, previous config file that i save so i usually would also like to do one thing it's like by default i think when you press tab this is really wild it's like normally uh, we want either two spaces or four spaces for python or any other programming language, if you have a this kind of like a block structure, so inside the for loop, we want the indentation to be four spaces or two spaces. Uh, so by default, if you press tab, this is probably like eight spaces. It's really wild and makes it look really ugly. So just like that. And then you can have your print statement here, which doesn't look good. 
So what I would do, uh, it's like on Vim, you can change that as well. So uh, the way to do it is having something like a file type plugin indent on and then set tab stop equal four so that means like the when you press tab uh the space will be four set suit width equal four and set expand tab now i can just save this file uh, by colon w and come back to my source file uh, now I don't want to click my program in terminal to and open this again uh, then this the config we just set here will be live uh, but I'm too lazy to quit Vim so I can actually just reload it inside the program so the way to do it is colon and source and then uh, you give the direct the, the path of the your Vim RC file so uh, like that source and then in your home directory dot vmrc file press enter now your change will be live uh, so you see the ch the color changes it's because uh, by default I have this uh this told uh color scheme probably about I probably want to change it for default so that uh, it's easier to see okay now I can come back to this screen here and I can also repeat my previous command by uh, column and then press the up arrow key uh, so the last one up was just w save and I press it again that was the previous command I just used which is reload the source file uh, reload the config file okay now the color changes uh, we know it's live uh, let's try to do it again so we have this for loop and then press tab now it is perfect like four spaces not eight so i can have my uh, command here all right uh okay so the next thing i want to show is like i want to run this program like after I write a source code, uh, especially in this Python code, I want to run it. We can just quit the window and then run it on the terminal. But again, I'm too lazy for that. So I go to the right side by pressing uh, Ctrl WW choice again. The command to do it, uh, colon T-E-R-M, so which is the prefix of the word terminal and press enter now the right side of the window split into like the upper part and the lower part the lower part was the source file that i previously opened and the upper part is a terminal notice this is a terminal inside the vim program and i can just type in anything that can be run inside the terminal now i want to run my program uh, which is like a printing out Fibonacci series so yep so it does run the program successfully okay uh, cool so that's it for this tutorial I think the best way to learn something is to practice practice makes perfect so after watching this you should have enough knowledge to set up your theme for coding Leave me a comment to let me know if you have other tricks that you want to learn or share. Don't forget to smash the like button and turn on the notification if you want to see more content like this.